provided with the necessary information to complete the renovations of the show stage area. If you have any further questions about the replacement of the show, you can refer to page 104 of the employee manual. If you need an employee manual, refer to pages 206, 207, or 1093. First, you should test out the Fred Bear and Bonnie show tapes before beginning the renovation process. Reviewing the tapes will ensure that the internal components of the characters will be able to be used in the renovation process. For further instructions on running the show tape, refer to page 65 of the employee manual. We will begin by removing cosmetics of the characters, starting with Fred Bear. First is hat, tie, and microphone, head, arms, and body piece. Next, Bonnie. First, their head and tie, arm, and body piece. Now, you will begin to replace parts of the animatronics, starting once again with Fredbear. First, remove and replace Fredbear's mint upper endoskeleton with the structurally improved set that was provided by the manufacturers. Set the Freddy Fazbear body piece where the Fredbear body piece once was. Place Freddy's arms on their respective sides. Place Freddy's head over the new endoskeleton head. And finally, correctly place his hat and bow tie. That's real great. Now, you will be replacing parts of Bonnie. First, remove and replace Bonnie's mid to upper endoskeleton with the structurally improved set that was provided by the manufacturers. Set the Bonnie piece where the original Bonnie piece once was. Place Bonnie's arms on the respective sides. Place Bonnie's head over the new endoskeleton head. Okay then. Now all that's left to do is to place the characters in their proper locations. Building updates and stage props will be covered in a future tape. Place Chica to Freddy's right. Remember, Fazbear Entertainment may request a certain arrangement if necessary. Installing Pirate's Cove will be covered in another tape. Congratulations, phase one of the rebranding process is now complete. Hello there. While you're on your way, I'll go over the plans beginning again, just so that we can do this quickly. Once you get there, go straight to the security room as you were assigned to do by the company. After watching over the cameras for a little bit, start shutting off the cameras and audio system, as displayed on the camera system itself. The animatronics in there act as security, so if any wander into your office, hide underneath the desk, since they shouldn't be able to detect you at that point. However, there is a prototype endoskeleton character somewhere in the facility, so make sure that you look out for it. It should be light sensitive, so make sure that you can direct a light at it upon seeing it. Alright, I'll go over the rest of the planes again once you've gotten far enough. Let's do this.
Hello there. Welcome to the interactive control tape for Fazbear Entertainment Animatronics. I'm Freddy Fazbear, the lead singer in the group. You have to make sure that I'm heard around the establishment, and I don't mess up my performance during the show. It works just as if I'm a puppet, except that I don't have an arm coming out of me. Instead, I need to look as alive as ever, so you need to make sure I don't go dying on ya. Now, let's look at my control rig. On the control rig, you will find three main function sets just for movement in between shows. On the right side of the controller, you will see a control set for my head. Go ahead, try opening my jaw. Great. Now, on the left side of my controller, you will find a controller for my main body piece. Go ahead, try moving my body forward. Excellent. On the middle of the controller, you will find a few preset actions for me. Go ahead, make me laugh. Terrific. Controlled training is now complete. Now you should be ready to make the pizzeria come to life. Good job. The first set of security animatronics should have been deactivated. Now, head to the storage room, which is behind the first door you see in that dark hallway. There are some items that we have seen within that facility from the pictures taken, so hopefully they just happen to still be there. Collect them, and try to go through the door on the right side of the storage room. Once you've gotten through, I'll contact you again. Good luck.
welcome to the Arcade Room Maintenance Training Tape. In this tape, we will be going over how to test and set the arcade machines out for repair if necessary. Two arcade machines will be demonstrated in this tape as examples of the maintenance work. First, let's test out this arcade machine. Looks like that game worked perfectly. Now, we will test out a game of questionable quality. machine died. Let's make sure that I sent out for repair. Great job. Arcade room training is now complete.